welcome back to cad cam tutorial today we are going to make the assembly of nut and bolt and uh, we will make a simple animation or you can say dynamic simulation of nut and bolt so let's see how to make this simple animation of nut and bolt or you can say dynamic analysis i hope you like it so let's start to create this beautiful animation in autodesk inventor in our last lecture we created nut and bolt in autodesk inventor so let's start to create assembly and animation so here we will create new and here we want to make assembly so here select a standard part in millimeter a standard assembly in millimeter create now it will comes here now it's time to bring our part or place our part so either you can simply place from here or right click and click place component place component now let's find out where our files here bolt open now right click and place at grounded at origin see it is asking you you need one more right click okay that's it now it's time to uh, bring nut right click place component and click nut open insert right click okay now let's make the constraint first we will make mat and for mat you need axis bolt and bolt has y axis and the nut also has just y axis now it is comes in one line that's it okay now see this is the nut it's moving along this same axis now we want to create some more relations but we don't want to keep it so let's this face okay like this okay we don't want to keep just we want to align the nut here then one more relation constraint an angle i'll choose this face and this face and let me choose directed angle so that our thread will be in pro proper position because we want to make dynamic analysis okay now we don't want to keep this all relation simply we can delete it or we can suppress it so let me show even you can collapse all and select these two relations and suppress that means these two relations will no more work only one relation this axis relation will work now let's start to create our animation or dynamic simulation go to environment dynamic simulation click no now here we need to create first joint so insert joint what kind of joint you like to make so here we will choose a screw because both are perform under a screw operation now here component 1 let me hold shift key and press your um, circ mouse circle and it will rotate and i'll select this one edge so that it will select the circular things now click on component 2 and for component 2 i'll select this nut i'll select a circular edge or you can circle also that's not a big deal but it must be circle here pitch we need to define at the bottom what how much the pitch we keep 1.7 mm okay now the pitch and joints created now this is the our standard joint right click on cylindrical part here are bo both parts bolt and nut properties dot r1 and here edit imposed motion this is automatically created but we want to edit it so click enable imposed motion we want to create driving velocity so here i'll choose constant value so that it will move constant in throughout and here degree per second how much degree it will move per second so 360 degree into and the length is around 40 mm so we calculated 18 okay now let's align in a proper way even let me
that's it now here it's time to make the value this is the right click okay this is the image value if you keep higher it will be good so I'll keep higher this is no need to change the second and everything now here just click run or play simulation play now see it's going to move slowly and let's see in how many seconds is going to touch up to the end it may takes time uh, see this this kind of operation takes your uh, CPU course if you have most number of CPU it will make faster and uh, it will give better result if less CPU like two core CPU it very slow and it takes more time so it almost it will cover in 17 or something okay it's covered in 30 times so this is how if you want to change this length you can directly construct more cylindrical properties and from here you can change the things so we don't want to keep just play so this is how we created a simple animation or you can say dynamic and simulation of nut and bolt in autodesk inventor i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching